class welcome to anamika ma'am's classroom hope all of you are fine today i will discuss about some mathematical library methods in java which are very important without which you are not able to do some programming in java so let's start today i will discuss about five uh, mathematical functions and in my next video i carry on the next uh, the remaining mathematical functions so first one is math.sqrt each and every time m you have to write down in capital for each and every math function so math.sqrt find out square root of any number you have to provide the number within bracket and it return back the square root of that number so it is used to find the square root of a positive number you should be careful that your number should be a positive number if you give any negative number that it showing error in rcc that type of question come that what will be the output and suppose give one negative number suppose minus 5 then you have to write down it showing an error so uh, you have to give positively one positive number because square root of negative number is not possible and return type of this function is double so where you store the function that variable should be double type variable let's uh, do some exercises examples example 1 is double a equal to math dot square root 4.0 so if square root of 4 you know 2 so it return back 2 let's see the output it return back 2 and it you have to store in a double type variable only because math dot square root return a double type variable so write down double and any variable name equal to then you use that function let's see another example which is in point 6.25 it will return 2.5 so this is math dot square root function let's see the next one which is math dot max function you can use this function in java programming as well as short question answer come in icsc uh, class 9 or class uh, 10 that what will be the output uh, like this two marks question answer or you can use it anywhere in your programming java program so it returns the maximum of two numbers you can't give three four numbers you have to give two numbers only using comma in between and it returns uh, not only int or long or double if you give two integer it returns one integer which one is maximum if you give two long type variable it returns one long type variable which is maximum if you give any double type variable then two double type variable and it returns the double type variable which one is maximum let's see some example first one is math dot max 4.8 Here I am returning back in double. You can return back anywhere integer or long. So four and eight, you can understand the output should be eight because eight is the maximum number. So output is eight here. Let's see the second example, which is twelve point seven and eight point four. Here twelve point seven is the maximum. So output should be twelve point seven. Now let's see one minus figure. Minus sixty seven point six six and minus ninety seven point four five. So which one is maximum? Not ninety seven because it is in minus. So minus sixty seven point six six is my uh, maximum because it is in minus figure. So minus sixty seven point six six. So you be careful when it comes to minus number. If it is minus, then maximum always is which is less number. That means sixty seven. so be careful when you get any max uh, any uh, fractional number uh, not fractional any negative number then you be careful to 
find out the output. Now come to minimum max dot min. Uh, you can easily understand that it find out the minimum of two numbers. So it returns minimum of two numbers. Again, not no you not give three four numbers. Only give two numbers and return mini minimum one. And it returns int long double any type variable. So let's take example double a equal to math dot mean. You can write down int here also four comma six. So easily you can understand four is the minimum between four and six. So output should be four. So output is four here. Let's take another example, which is fractional number. 4.6 and 2.8 you can understand that 2.8 is the minimum here so output should be 2.8 now take one minus number minus 4.5 and minus 5.4 which is minimum so obviously here minus 5.4 which is less than minus 4.5 again you be careful when you get any negative number then Come to the next example, which is math dot pow. In math dot pow, this method is used to find the power raised to a given base value. It returns a double type value. It always returns a double type value, so you should also store the output in a double type variable only. Let's see one example. Here, double a because it should Return in double type, and you have to store in return uh, double type variable only. So it must be double any variable name. Suppose a equal to math dot pow two comma four. So two comma four means what is the meaning of that? I am writing here. You not need to write in your uh, program. So two point five semicolon up to this you have to write. I am just explaining here two point. For two comma four means math dot power two comma four means two to the power four. If it is two comma three, then means two to the power three. If it is three comma two, means three square three to the power two. So first is the number and second one is the power. Then it show two to the power four, which is sixteen point zero because it, it returns in double. Then Come to the last one, which is math dot abs absolute value. Abs full form is absolute value. Here you have students have some confusion with this absolute value. Let's uh, clear first. It returns the absolute value of any number. Absolute value means what? Means magnitude of the number without its sign. That means a positive value. So you just discard the sign. If it is positive, then it's okay. The same value it's returned back. If it is negative number, minus number, then it returns a positive value. Just discard the minus sign. It returns in int long double data type. So it can return back in int maybe maybe long maybe double, but. Uh, whatever number you given, according to that, it return back. But irrespective of sign, that means if it is positive number, then it is okay. Whatever the positive number, it just return back. If it is negative number, then it discard the sign there and just return back the number. Let's take some example. First example, math dot abs three. So three. On positive number, so it return back three only. It return back three. Second example, math dot abs minus eight. It return back irrespective of this minus only eight, only eight. So it return eight. If it is if there is a negative sign, then it don't show you the negative sign. Without this negative sign, it show the result. Then, if it is three point six six, there is a confusion. Students have confusion with this. They return back uh, four or like this, but the absolute value only discard the sign, nothing else. If it is three point six six, in absolute value three point six six only. 
So the answer is 3.66 only. Don't write down the, uh, uh, the round off number. That means don't write down 4. You just uh, write down the exact number because it is in positive. So write down the exact number. Now see one example of minus. Minus fractional number minus 12.45. If so 12.45 just discard the sign number exact number don't discard the fractional part exact number just discard if you have minus then don't write don't write down minus in output otherwise same number if it is 3 then 3 if minus 8 then 8 only discard the negative sign if 3.66, 3.66, it's minus 12.45, then 12.45. When you have any minus figure, minus 8 or minus 12.45, then you just, in output, don't write down minus, nothing else. Okay, then uh, please you subscribe my channel. If till now you have not subscribed it, please subscribe my channel for more videos and like and share my videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.